Dungeon Defenders. I'm uh, Dungeon Defenders Awakened. I'm Catherine of Sky, and today we're playing on the PTR, the public test realm. Oh, yes. And we have the beautiful, who you can't see right now, the beautiful um, Guardian. And if you play on the PTR and fill out the survey, they will send you some stuff for her, like wings and other like transmog stuff. So I highly uh, advise you to get on the program here and uh, and start playing uh, this thing. It's it's absolutely free. You just go into the game under betas, uh, right click in Steam, go to betas, and then choose the PTR recruit thing, and you will become a recruit. Anyway, I've learned a lot of things since the last time we have done stuff. Uh, one of those is rifted armor. Um, and this is pretty important stuff, man. So if you get a set of rifted armor, why am I having oh, transcendent stuff? Garbage! Transcendent guard. No, it's, it's, do I have anything better for him? Hold on. This is set five. Very important that we, it, that this is set five. No, we don't. Okay. That's why I'm using this. Wow, none of it is godly. Wow, this is this is bad. I need to farm some more fives, apparently. But anyway, there's a reason that five is a number. Because five gives him a special fused spell. This gets 30% rift armor. It also does double damage to rifted enemies. Um, and if you put something on, say, a monk with, like, an ensnare aura... Uh, not an instant aura. Um, like, I have a fused strength strain aura. This makes, um, this has fusion armor reduced by 10%. So you can co compound these items together and come up with some really cool defenses. I also have, who is it? The Warden. I believe she has the special hat, the Arcanist Crown, which you can only get from beating the uh, wolf on level 25 survival in the keep. Uh, and, yeah, and so this thing is amazing because she has armor on, let's see, what is it, number two? So her spell number two is a fused wisp den, but because she has the hat, it also gives her spell number one. So this thing, yeah, this, uh, this gives, gets rift armor and this thing really deals a lot of fusion damage. This is pretty crazy, pretty crazy here. Um, so you get two spells if you have an Arcanist crown. So the idea is that you need to get an Arcanist crown for all of your heroes. And as you see, wait, why do I have an Arcanist? Oh, this is my Eevee. Of course I have an Arcanist crown on her because of, what is spell number one on an, uh, on an Eevee? What is spell number one? Do we use one? Fro oh, you know why? It's because you get this really big set bonus. That's why. Yeah, the set bonus here is uh, more more power and damage, and it's good. It's very good. Uh, and it has massive stats. It's like 1,000 stats versus these are like 400s. You see? Big difference. And, and your Eevee is like your most important uh, person. Uh, Marlia, my guardian, does not yet have fused armor. I just don't have enough sets or the correct ones. I, I don't even know what spell I want to play with her. So we're going to we're gonna look at her and we're going to play a map um, with her. We have, this is my guardian. Uh, not guardian. She's the, oh God, what is she called? The herbalist gal. I don't know. what You know what she is. She's a thing. Uh, <laughs> let's go with that, shall we? Um, and then we have, of course, my, um, why does he have... A thing sticking out of him. I don't get that. I don't understand this. This is not a beautiful portrait, my friend. Anyway, I also need a set for him. Uh, and I don't know what I'm going to buff on him. Uh, I never use anything but spiders and mages. But it doesn't seem, like, useful. So he's the last one to get fused armor, for sure. And, um... Anyway, I got an awesome cat. We farmed some really amazing cats. By the way, cats do not stack. Just FYI. I thought that might be useful information. Um, so I'm going to use my Fuse Little Bomber until I can uh, uh, find other nice, perfect pets. And it'll be great. It will be great. Okay. So um, anyway, I thought we'd kind of move on and try the new map in the PTR. And that is going to be, I've gotten there. So we are, it's, it's the Forsaken Temple. 
So these maps were pretty easy. This one, this one I'm annoyed with because this was like, this is a reskin of a DD1 map. I forget what the name of that one is, but it's very Lord of the Rings, castle in this floating in the sky kind of thing. But they give you almost no mana, so it's really difficult to have to run around and kill stuff, like half hero, half defenses. It's weird. Uh, Bazaar was super, super easy. Um, the Forsaken Temple. I wonder if this is as challenging. It's a finale. Uh, I wonder if it's as challenging as a keep. So we're going to try it out. We may fail. I've never even looked at this map before. So let's go ahead and, um, and get on here. By the way, if you're a friend of me, please do not, do not randomly join my game. I will be very unhappy with that. Uh, oh, what is this? Hmm. This looks kind of epic, like really epic. I like this. Let's 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 get in our in our proper clothing here for this. What do we got here? I'm going to you know what? I'm going to press G so we can see the f the um pathways. Is the there are doors here? Oh wow, there's a lot of gold over here. They they really are they really trust their servants <laughs> not to like steal the gold. All right. Okay, so there's this stuff here. By the way, sorry about the slowness. I don't have any speed gear on her. This looks pretty. Wow, those are big statues over there. There's some wyverns or something coming from there. Copters, maybe? What's up there? I can't even see. I can't see what that is, people. That's too far away, dude. Okay, so and it's symmetrical here, looks like. Uh, lots of stuff coming in. Lots of stuff. Why is it not showing me the paths? I wonder if that's part of the development thing where it's like they haven't even put the paths in yet. All right. Well, it looks like, let's see, is this a door up here? Yeah. Okay. So we got to defend all of them from stuff and things. This is going to be interesting. All right. We have a thousand mana, right? Okay. Let's look at her spells real quick. We have the Holy Bulwark, which is basically a shield. Um, just a blockade currently and doesn't have its full functionality implemented. So this is one thing that I wondered about. Like, why are they putting placeholder stuff when they're supposedly launching this new character? Like, I don't get that. We can't test it if you don't give us all the stuff. We have the Empowering Shrine. I have tested this on boss killing maps. It is kind of amazing. Just kind of. Awesome. Owl Perch. The owl, the most trusted ally of the Guardian. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Okay. Sorry. I uh, I accidentally put it on hardcore mode. Hardcore mode significantly increases the quality of drops, by the way. Um, but it does give you a building time limit in, um, in campaign. If you are playing on a survival, you do not have a time limit. I didn't realize that. Um, okay. Let's just go back to the Owl Perch again. Uh, okay. Flies between enemies, damaging them, but never stays on one enemy. We'll hit a max of 10 targets before returning to the perch to recharge. Sounds very much like the, um, apprentices, uh, magic missile tower with the rune to make it bounce. It can bounce up to six times. It's crazy. It's really cool. All right, let's G. All right. So that's an owl perch. I want to, I'm kind of, I don't know. She has really, she has pretty good gear. As you can see by the range on this owl perch, I'm kind of keen on trying her defenses. At least we have the Holy cannon shoots flaming cannonballs that ignite and cause enemies to suffer dot, a damage over time dot effects, which is able to stack multiple times per target. That sounds quite reasonable. I think. All right. So this, is there a door here? Oh, yes, there is. There's one down there. Okay, this is fancy. All right, that sounds pretty good. Let's see, this number four. Can we do a... Okay, there's nothing coming. Is that a, like liquid gold? Couldn't be. It must be very hot if it is. It's very sparkly, though. I, I like the sparkliness. Okay, if we do a... This thing. Can we do this? Yeah, we can. And then we can do this as well. Try to put it as close as we can, but you kind of have to have it far just to get the coverage in here. Oh, no, 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 dude, 
stop that. Sometimes that tutorial window is really in the way. It annoys me. Like, dude, why is it there? This is too long for a buff beam, I believe. Okay, what's five? Five is the obelisk. Shoots a beam of energy out of the eye, dealing damage and applying a curse to nearby enemies. What the heck does that mean? Like, why is it so cagey? Why can't you just tell us what it does? Is that like a dot effect or what is this? Dude. All right, let's get our EV. By the way, I've converted my EV. Everybody, nobody has DPS heroes apparently anymore. Everybody just uses one hero uh, for each. Uh, normally people use their squire uh, for uh, DPS because his stuff, his HP scales like crazy. Also, the new, this gal, where is she? The new guardian, her scale, her, her HP scales wildly as well. Um, but I'm not going to use her cause I don't have her set up for that. I don't have like a good ax for her or, or a melee weapon. And I don't have a, a, uh, matching shield. That's important too, to have that bonus as well as like a proper pet, um, and other stuff. So we kind of need, need those things before I make her my, my DPS hero. So I'm going to leave that to the EV for now. All right. We're just setting up. So we have 770 left. So far, this looks interesting. What do we got here? So by having this buff beam, by the way, it gives it plus it gives it 50% rifted armor. Note that the guardian does not have rift armor at all. Um, so normally, if these were rifted, they would have 80% rift armor, which is amazingly cool. Uh, okay, so we have this. I kind of want to do a I kind of want to do blockades here. I think we need them. I'll set up one here, one here. These are for ogres, basically. Um, I don't know how we're gonna defend this place, honestly. I don't know how that's gonna work, but we're gonna try. Let's get, what are we at? 650. I have to split that between two stations. So let's go, let's start over here. And what do we do here? I kind of am tempted just to do harpoons um, in this area. Or, no, you know what? Let's get out the guardian again. Let, not this guardian, the other guardian. I have her in case of wisps. We might do wisp. We'll see. Um, holy cannons. Let's do like one here. Let's do it facing kind of like that. And then this one can face... Are there any perches? There's no uh, other stuff there. There we go. Oh, that was not, no, no, no. I meant to turn, oh, no, no, that one didn't work either. Four, come on, come on brain, you can do this. You can do this. There we go, that's better. <clears throat> so we'll do that for now. I think I'll put a buff beam here. I don't know how long I want the buff beam. So what I'm gonna do for this, that used to be her number, okay. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a, let's do, oh, that's a reflect field. My goodness. My brain is just not working today. It is not fun. It is absolutely not fun. All right, let's start it here and we'll go for five units and we can remove it if we need more units. We'll just have to see. It'll be fine. But I'm slowly trying to collect better accessories for move speed. Um, though, like your DPS hero probably should have uh, like either mana regen or HP regen, just depending on what you are using. Okay. So four, wait, what did we say five was the obelisk? Oh yeah. I forgot about that. Um, let's do, oh wait, what are we doing here? We just want to go, I think on this one, we actually want to do something like this. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay. And you go like this. And then let's get an obelisk. Let's try an obelisk to go this way for those flying units. I don't know if we need that or something else. Maybe we can get an owl perch in here as well. Let's let's uh, Z this thing. I'm going to put in the buff beam. I don't know why they call it an overclock beam. I completely disagree. I am an old school DD player. Do not call this. Oh, that's a proton beam. That won't work at all. Um, why did they change that? Like it was so good being called a tower buff beam. Why did they change this? It is so strange to me. Okay. Um, not you, you, thank you. 
and we need five. I want to try the new the new heroes towers by the way I really want to kind of focus on those in this episode because this is the PTR so why not use it right so owl perch let's put in maybe a couple of these they look very narrow you might be able to put them three three wide on a buff beam kind of like maybe okay and I'm out of stuff out of you know what let me put one of those perches on the other side let me just change so we can run faster I feel like having uh, speed gear on many builders would be good. Uh, however, if you use them for combat, like for example, the uh, the monk, I would use my monk for combat. I probably would give him a uh, his his proper, you know, like MP or whatever. Uh, what do we need here? Is it four? Four? No, not four. Three. Okay, so we're gonna put this like here. Okay, owl perch gotten. Are we ready? Holy crap, I don't know if I'm ready. Go! All right, let's see what happens. I'm watching for ogres specifically. Oh my God, there's already a, uh, a, lichen, uh, a lichen dude. Oh, and a, a copter. Kill the copter, kill the copter. Oh my God, no! <laughs> I died. <gasps> this might be bad. Okay, oh, there's the beam. There's the obelisk. Okay, I'm liking the obelisk so far. Seems useful. Oh boy. Remember, we didn't put any walls here, so this could be interesting. Oh, he just died. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, other side, other side. Oh, this is inconvenient. Can't get to the other side easily. Wow, those fire thingies are very fiery. Dude, stop that. I don't know if they're doing any damage, though. No, I don't think so, actually. I think they're hitting the railing and they're not actually hitting stuff and things. All right, let's see what's happening over here. Just want to kind of look and see what's going on here. Okay, these are going on. Okay, how does this work? Oh, I killed them. Shoot. I want to see how these work. They shoot really fast, which is pretty cool. They're doing unupgraded almost 2 million DPS, which is kind of nice. Okay, let's go and get that spider. We also need to pick up mana from like all over this map. Dude, that's not a cool hangout there. Okay, that needs to be fixed. <laughs> like, you know when you have like enemies hanging around and crap, it's like, ah, oh, that needs to be uh, adjusted slightly. Yeah, okay, we need to put barriers down for sure. I want to just collect some mana so we have some stuff to build with. Very nice, okay. So let's get this guy because his barriers have, um, well, there's another like wonderful kind of uh, concoction that um, Tiger showed me, which is, this kind of so we have we have these uh, copters coming from this side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a five here, slice and dice, uh, and then we want to do a. Ooh, the ensnare aura doesn't have the thingy, but if we get oh we can't. Let's see, who are we not using? We're not using her. So let's change this one to. This one, change this one back to Traptress because I normally have her on that key. So it's just easier for me to organize stuff. Okay, so this trap, oh, she doesn't have rifted stuff, does she? Oh no. Okay, well, there's a thing where you can put the explosive trap here and what it will do is it will um, reduce the damage uh, done to traps and uh, even though they're ethereal yeah we still have anyway we'll we'll figure out what to do with stuff i think we'll do this for now let's just put in some poison traps they are super useful um because they hold the enemies at bay at least the small ones and the big ones can be stopped by the blockade uh what else do we need from her nothing right now because our explosive trap doesn't have or is that part of the runes or is that part of the rifted? I think it might be part of the rifted. Let's see. Uh, poison dart, inferno, thunder spike. Do we have the other one? Oh, 
Um, let's see, shell shocked. Enemies are slowed. There we do, and do 20% reduced damage. So it is actually a rune and not um, a thingy. So we could put the spike poison or put the, oh my god, I can't even talk now. Uh, we could put the slice and dice here anyway. I think we will. Let's put this here. We did put in the, the other thing, did we? I don't remember, did we? Yes, no, we did not. Okay, I'm going to put them slightly offset from each other so it's easier to target, potentially. Uh, we need to watch that because those spike or these spi these traps they go off every 0.81 seconds, right? So almost twice a second, and they only have 239 charges at base level. So that's important. Um, let's also put in our a monk to give us a little bit of an aura here. My auras are not quite big enough, so that's not great. So I'm gonna you know focus this here on the more dangerous side or what I perceive to be the more dangerous side and do that. Um, I need just a bit more range as you can see. I, I have, my stats are currently um, range, not enough, 7,000. I need like 13,000 or something, but I'm still farming good gear. As you see, I still have cr what crappy pants on. Wait, do I have a four? Do I have a four in proper pants? I do, no I don't. Do these have better stats? Mm, yes, they do. Definitely do. Are these better? No. They don't appear to be better. No. I would lose too many other stats, I think. Actually, let me um I'm going to I'm going to upgrade these I can't. All right, they've already been upgraded to range. No, I I need range actually. I need I need range. Wait, do I want to upgrade these? This hat? I need. I don't need defense damage because he's not doing damage. Oh, this is a power hat, which is also not ideal. This one also has more range. It has two times range, and this one is only one time range. Yeah, I'll just upgrade this. Yeah, I think I'll upgrade this to range, and that'll give us a few more points, a few hundred more points. It's something, right? So now we have how much? 6972. How did that happen? Eh? Okay. This is very strange. I don't know why that just happened. This is one has more range, okay. Range power. Was it the shoes that I changed something's wrong here four 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 and four didn't i say we had seven thousand range and now we're at not sixty nine seventy two i i'm like what the heck did i do here is it a mismatch of no now it's 63 maybe we had six thousand maybe that's what we had and now we're, oh, did we have 6,000 or 7,000? I think we had 6,000 and now it's 69. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, so we're fine. We're fine. And what I did with his stats, you see, I put it all into range now. But as I get better armor for him, it will be a lot better. It'll, it'll get better. It will be definitely better. Did we get anything like here to give him? See, that's range and range. No, that doesn't work at all, does it? Um, I think I had... Move speed bracers. Oh, those are sexy. But actually, these might be good. These might be really good because he doesn't need anything else from that. And I can upgrade the range, but I'm not going to because I might give them to somebody else. Ooh, these have sexy range on them. Oh, and they have HP regen. Maybe I'll go with the HP regen on these. Maybe I should do that. Um, because, well, no, those might be better for the, um, the squire. Anyway, anyway, so we have two auras here. I think that's a good starting spot for, for this. Let's, let's mirror this on the other side. Oh, whoops. I do need a buff beam, I think. Oops, wrong character. I just moved my EV, so it's like hard. Okay, there we go. No, no, oh God, reflect. Why do I keep doing that? I have no idea. Like, I've been playing this game. I know how to play this game. I've played it before. I know that seems like 
Really? Did you? Actually? Hmm? I have! I have! I promise! Hello? Oh my god. Alright, fine. Guess I'll have to sell the slice and dice to get to... Alright, this is so annoying! Like, why is this not selling, man? Reflect. Good. Okay. Uh, let's just put in a beam here. A buff beam. An actual buff beam. And then we get our this person and then slice and dice so this is actually a really cool ogre killer if you have the damage mitigation because they could possibly kill this thing right so it's important to have that damage mitigation in place I have some move gear on this guy so it won't take us long to walk over there so let's do that let's put in our sh our thingy thingies let's do that And then five, then EV. I don't know if we're going to need reflects and stuff. We probably will. Um, so that might also, why, if I have T selected on him, why do I need to reselect it on her? Like, I don't get that. There's a lot of like quality of life stuff that's really missing from this game and I I don't really understand it it's kind of like weird okay let's get you out and explosive trap all right and then poison for you here yes good 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 all right nice I don't feel the need to put an ensnare on this side. I just don't think it's necessary. I don't know what... Like, are we getting ogres out of these doors? No, it looks like just Jin, And, well, and Sharkin. Sharkin are not great. Sharkin are not great. I don't know if Sharkin can go through other stuff. Also, I found out about auto loot. And this is... This blew my mind. This was like, oh my god, really? Like, how? Um, so... And I know a few people have written to me in the comments, but I, I, I found this out, like, I don't know. I've, I pre-recorded many episodes of this game before I, uh, published them because I think like number six or something is going out today or seven. And like, I've already recorded 14 episodes. So this is after that, obviously. Um, but yeah, auto loot, the thing that shows stuff on the map, it's not going to show anything cause I have to set really high filters. But that stuff gets automatically collected at the end of the wave. I had no idea. I thought it was just, oh, it just marks it. No, it actually collects it. And I'm like, oh, God darn it. Gosh darn it. Okay, this should increase in size significantly. Maybe. Enough. It's enough. It's enough. Okay. Uh, to prevent stuff getting destroyed, we hope. I'm not going to put buff beams on these things. I don't think it's needed. Uh, but we can put in, and these guys got to be watched, right? These uh, explosive traps. Do we want to put these in? They're not actually very powerful. Um, eh, I'll skip it. I think I'd rather put in something like the new towers of like having these, um, those uh, obelisks or owls or something. What do we got here? We have 13 units left. That's not a lot. How much are the obelisks? Those are four. Okay, so we could do, I'm gonna send these this way. I'm just gonna send it straight on. And this, no, not that way. Okay, these are more, there is more mana over here. I want, I want to use her as my DPS hero, I think. I think she's pretty, I like her a lot. She looks very cool. So do I, I don't have enough for anything else. So let's go, let's just go. And of course, everything else on the floor is auto sold at the end of a wave. But yeah, I didn't know the whole, oh God, it's such a weird thing. Like the game doesn't explain a lot of this stuff. So I'm going to come up with a tutorial. It's probably already out by the way, because like I'm writing it today. So by the time we get like 10 episodes, hence <laughs> it's going to be out there already. Oh God, there's that lichen guy. Oh God, there's a, there's a, there's a copter, copter, no. God, no, 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 dude. No, 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 dude. Okay, so this is fun. This is really fun. Thank you. Hi, hi, how you doing? Okay, that one's dead. 
Uh, oh, that dude's dead. Nice! Okay, these towers are pretty powerful. I don't, I may not need to worry. I may not need to worry at all, in fact. Um, also, there's very no mana anywhere. I want to upgrade this. Not that one, please. I want the trap. Give me that trap! Oh, God. All right, fine. We'll just do that. It will be fine. Uh, also, I need to probably loosen my runes filter because I put it to detect high level runes, but these are, this is a new map area for me. And apparently the runes, they don't drop specifically from specific maps. They drop from the act that the maps are in, right? So let's see, let's upgrade you. Where are these enemies? Oh, they're this way. This is stupid spiders. It's annoying. Okay, dudes. Ha ha! Excellent. We have ha ha Life is better. But this map looks very cool. I like it uh, aesthetically. Um, it seems to have some DU, not a whole lot, but. Hopefully it will work. So gameplay, auto loop filters, runes, edit. Let's also pick up epic and rare because I may not have the stuff from this map. So all of a sudden they will appear as you see. And that's good. That's really good. So we had, let's see, let's pick up where we left off. Let's get another obelisk, which is number five. Yo, thank you. That way, please. And then we're going to get the owl. How many owls can we have? Three. Oh, you know what we really need? We actually need a spider. Um, we might even need, we need two more spiders and that's going to be six. So if I, how much, let's see, if I delete one of these, that's four. Yeah, that'll be perfect actually. So let's just get you and do a thing. I wish you could just, pr you could, you used to be able to press shift and it would scroll faster. I don't, oh God, I don't even know where I am. Shoot. All right, let's just go. Let's just walk. We can pick up mana along the way as well. But yeah, I don't, I don't understand why the map has such bad quality of life features. I don't get that at all. Like, how is this a thing? We've had dungeon defenders for ages and why were some of these things like completely left out? Just doesn't make any sense. And it's very like annoying because like we had these quality of life features and now we don't have them. Like being able to see which defenses were damaged or, you know, they needed upgrading or repair. We can't see that anymore from the map. Now it's just gone. And it's like, dudes, come on. Please fix this. All right. Oh, let's see. Ogres are coming in from this way. I want to see if this can get that ogre downed. I want to stay far enough away. Oh, wow. Ogre down in the drink. Whoa. That's pretty epic. Okay. What is he going to do with that ogre over there on the on the stairs. Oh boy. That's funny. It's like adding insult to injury, man. So there's an ogre on the stairs that I'm really keen to see what happens to him. Oh wow. He is, holy crap. This cannonball, this flaming thing that she's got. That is deadly. Yo, like, and I don't even think I even need to remind you like this stuff isn't even upgraded yet. But the buff beams have gotten quite strong as well. I think if they do like 80% extra damage with the buff beam fully upgraded or something. It's nuts. It's pretty great. Just trying to upgrade them. This is beautiful. This is really epic, this thing here. I love this. 
It's so pretty. The graphics people did a really, really great job. Well, I mean, I guess everybody involved did a great job. The devs did a great job. Let's just say it that way. Um, Cause there's a lot of coding that goes into these maps as well as the visuals, but the visuals are very striking. I gotta say they are very nice. Um, and so far the map is playing well, except for these stupid spiders that get stuck up here. Um, I'm just going to troll uh, around for more mana. Okay, just upgrading as we go a tiny bit. That's fine. And there are spiders, and I have no idea even how to get to them. Oh my god. Okay, and that's, that's, this is a problem, is when you slow them around a corner and your towers can't reach. That's very annoying. Come on. No. Okay, fine. So where are we going to get those spiders? How am I going to get those spiders done? There used to be a button or something that was like, or it would time out or something whenever you had like spiders or something that were enemies that were stuck. Where are they? They are this way. Huh. I don't think I can get up there, can I? Eh. No, I think it's too high. Not even my, uh, uh, my guy can get up there. Dudes, can we have some timeouts on the spiders, please? Like, what is this? Huh. Um, huh. You know what? I'm going to pause the video and see if I can get some answers. Okay, so I didn't have to wait too long. It was like, I don't know, two minutes. I didn't even finish writing my question in the uh, in the Discord. And it was like, oh, okay, build phase. I see. That's nice. <laughs> so that worked quite easily. Uh, we have no more build units left, by the way. So we need to finish, uh, just finish the wave. So let's go. So far, this seems very, very safe. Um, like we haven't... Uh, even close to gotten killed yet so uh but i also attribute to that to my really high stats and uh yeah Ooh. okay that would be a wolf ow all right let's keep on going here lots of wow these these towers are getting super super they are very strong i think i'm gonna have to really farm some gear for my guardian because i think these are very preferable to a lot of other things these tower oh wait i want to see that ogre get killed ogre is getting killed spider webs are so op so if you're not aware uh, spiders, when they web something, they make the target take double damage, which is super useful for things like ogres that have a lot of health. So always, always include a spider if you can. It's, I mean, it's literally cheap for the price of another tower. Like instead of having uh, double all of this stuff, you just put a spider in and they deal double damage. It's fantastic. And it's so cheap. It's three DU. Um, and that, that is why you want to have a, a full cadre of heroes. You want to have all of them uh, so that you're able to take advantage of their specialty towers and stuff like that so that you can basically make the best of your experience in the game. I've seen people like, oh yeah, such and such is my primary hero. And I'm like, what do you mean? There are no primary heroes. There are just a primary team of heroes. <laughs> like, it's just It's just not a thing. Like... You, you use all of them, especially in high-level content. I haven't seen the owl do anything yet. I wonder what that one does. Maybe it's out of range. It's probably out of range. I think everything's killing it before it can even get out of its perch. I should just do an owl-based map. Maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll do an owl-based map. I wonder if they would work well with the wisps. As in, like, the wisps kill a target until it's completely dead but the owls can bounce around and like if a wisp is targeting something that doesn't die quickly maybe the owls can take up the slack on the other enemies around i wonder if that's a thing 
Oh, God, look at how many spiders there are. Oh, jeez, that's terrible. All right, well, I have some mana. I'm going to upgrade stuff while we're waiting on things to happen. That was a bad upgrade right there. Okay, we want the beam upgraded. Thank you very much. And this thing doing 2.415 DPS, million DPS, not just DPS. This one is almost a million DPS, but has... So maybe this is not great. Maybe the range is just longer. These are four. This one is four. So why would I use that one? This one has like, um, you know, like 40% of the DPS. Why am I using this again? Oh, we're trying it out, of course. The Holy Cannon shoots flaming cannonballs that ignite and cause enemies to suffer dots, which are able to stack multiple times. One of the reasons I really love the harpoons on the Squire is that um, you get the rune for poison tipped, and that gives them a dot as well, a poison dot, which is pretty cool. Oh, hello. Hi, oh, oh they're beautiful. Wow. I'm impressed. Hey, Al, how you doing? Al is like, I'm Alan. I'm just Alan. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to get a screenshot of the wings up so I can have it for a thumbnail. Um, all right, let's just collect stuff and keep on upgrading. Did we upgrade this stuff? I forgot. Yes, we did. We actually did. Okay, not enough. No more. And if the time gets too long, I'll just pause it and then we'll resume. But I want to collect the rest of the mana here. There we go. There we go. So this gets upgraded as well, the overclock beam. And I guess we'll just pause. All right, we've been released from our prison of whatever this was been. Anyway, um, one of the things I wanted to look at is like, uh, do the cannonballs shoot upward? Like, are they going to be able to hit this? Because this has almost the same range as this. They can shoot upward. I don't know if they can shoot as high as that uh, copter, though. Oh, yeah. They certainly can. They certainly can. Okay, so I basically see zero reason to use this obelisk. I have no reason to use this. Uh, other than it is lightning damage versus this is fire damage. But these are 2.4 million. And this one is... 955,000. So, like, I am not going to be using obelisks unless they buff something on those because they don't seem to have any benefit whatsoever. Look at the, that spider, like, shooting at the wyvern. That was nuts. Holy fuzzy cats. Look at how far they can shoot. Jeez. What is, what is the, um, let's see, spider. Hello. You have a 31 meter effective range, and these are 29 meters. So they, they definitely have a huge range. I'm really liking those cannonballs. I think those are useful. I think maybe those combined with harpoons would be like amazing because you'd have uh, two different damage types and two different dots going on. And I think that would be kind of superb. I think it would be really great. So like one cannon in each. I think we'll do a survival. I want to do a survival. I don't know if we use the owls or not. Um but we'll see. I don't know. It would be fun to see how far we I would get in a survival. And if there is, I don't know if there's a boss at the end of this either. There might be. I have no idea. I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know. So we'll see. I mean, I've never played this map before. So obviously, I don't know. Well, I guess it's not obvious because like you could look it up, I suppose. But I like to experience the game as it's when to be experienced. Just go through it and see if I can have fun and stuff. I'm only forced to look at stuff because people don't tell us about what, like, fused armor is. Like, why, why game do you not have a tutorial on this? Why do you not have a help sheet, like, explaining basic concepts of the game in, like, a, uh, a guidebook of sorts, like a civilopedia? You know what? I should, I should offer to be hired to write this because I would be really good at writing it. I actually, oh, the shark had moved this. Naughty. Bad. Okay. I don't really care right now but it's okay. Um, but yeah, I, I, I write tutorials, you know, I do this for a living. So I am, I, I am available. I'm available. Chromatic games. I am available to write a tutorial and I know what people want and I know what they need because I am an avid player of this game 
and I have played it for many, many years, like the, the, the whole series, so I know quite a lot about the game, and I would love to write a tutorial for people so they're not as confused as I have been, and they don't have to look up third-party stuff for this. I mean, I shouldn't say that because I'm, like, I create third-party stuff, like tutorials and stuff, but, you know, people shouldn't have to. They really shouldn't have to, like, look for stuff when it's a basic mechanic of the game, right? I have, I'm really, like, passionate about that. I hate when people have to look up basic stuff that should be in the game. So, anyway, but this game, I think it would be more popular if it had tutorials because, or, um, like, like that, that kind of information in, like, a Civilopedia format because... Um, I think that that's very kind of esoteric. Like, nobody's gonna guess that Rifted Armor set number five buffs spell number five. I thought it was just like, who came up with these stupid names? Like, they're so uncreative compared to like Miner's Moxie and Ethereum Defender, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's like, why are we, you know, having these silly names? They didn't mean anything to me. They had no correlation. So that should definitely be a help help tutorial, help file in the game. And I'm back after another pause. Okay, so we won the map. Hooray! And there was no boss. Um, I just waited for the spiders to despawn as per usual. So we earned a little bit of XP. That's for uh, the heroes that are not yet 105. 105 is... No, it's not. It's 110, actually. That is the new... Um, max level for heroes right now so that was fun i hope you enjoyed that again this is uh playing on the public test realm it is online only by the way um but i've had no issues playing this also we've been playing like groups um in our in my discord so <clears throat> if you want to come in and join or just chat or listen or whatever, feel free to come on over and uh, we're usually in one of the voice channels. Um, and feel free, if I'm not there, I'm not, you know, like the center of the universe. I acknowledge this. I'm, I'm, I'm in a universe just like you are. And um, if you want to just start your own group and stream to each other or play with each other that way, just feel free. Feel free to start your own uh, games up and invite people and all that kind of stuff. Because there are people who are way ahead. Like I would be classified as pretty far ahead for starting like a few days ago um, because I'm obsessed with this game. It's fantastic. Oh, slice and dice. Yeah, let's go. Uh, sorry, I just got momentarily excited there. <laughs> um, but yeah, and but you can help other people. Like I took people on a farming run to get these little bomber pets. Uh, we did the Skyward something challenge. Skyward, so, what is it called? I'll, I'll look it up so you can you see know what it is. But that gives you a a pet, a guaranteed pet. Uh, every time it's a challenge called Skyward Revenge. It's a very fun and entertaining challenge. Um, and it kind of helps if you have more than one person. But please don't destroy stuff. Please don't destroy stuff. It's very easy to do so. So anyway, um, that is all that I have for you. Please come to Discord. Come and chat, by the way. Uh, say hi, because Discord is meowing at me that I don't have enough people chatting in Discord. It's bizarre. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.